SpongeBob SquarePants. 7.5 angle bisectors. All right, so we're going to visit a vocabulary word that we learned way back at the beginning of the year. Bisector. Um, remember, a bisector just cuts something perfectly in half. In this case, angle bisectors. It'll cut angles perfectly in half. And then with that comes specific properties. The angle bisector proportionality theorem. If a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite sides into segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. All right, so here we have a triangle. Let's bisect it using a ray. Well, we're going to bisect one angle. So there it is. There's a ray, and it actually bisects just this angle into two equal angles. Ooh, that's kind of hard to see, but yeah. All right, so according to the theorem, if you have a ray that bisects the angle, then it turns out that this piece is proportional to this piece, not equal, proportional, as this piece is proportional to that piece. All right, so you set the proportion up. Let's go ahead and try an example. Here's the same triangle, and there's some values. You have to solve for x. So according to the theorem, you can just set up some proportions. And there's a few ways to do it. You can do this over that equals this over that. Um, which is what I did. You can um, do it other ways as well, but they, if you are consistent and go back and forth, back and forth, then you should be able um, to get the right answer at the end. So there's the setup. X plus 12 is proportional to this 55, and then X proportional to that 25. And then from here, it's pretty easy. Just cross multiply. Use your pre-algebra skills. <clears throat> Distribute, solve basic algebra. You should get x equals 10. All right, very nice. Let's try another one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Solve for x. So here you can see that this means that the, this is a bisector. All right, so if the two angles are equal, that means that that is a bisector. So then we can set up the proportion. So we can do the x minus 5 over the x. And then, oh no, we need this over the 28. So actually, we have to find this little piece first. And that's pretty easy to find. The whole thing is 54. This part of it is 28. So if you subtract it, you should get 26, all right? So the 26 is right there. And then there's the setup. And solve, cross multiply, distribute, solve it out. We get x equals 70. Um, let's try a slightly more tricky example. Ooh, does say tricky. It's the same thing. We have these two angles cutting it cut in half, which means that now we have proportional sides. Um, the only thing is we do need this piece right here. And that piece is a little bit harder to figure out. The last example was not that bad because you just subtracted. But this one takes a little bit more work. So if the whole side is 18, and then this is x, what's left over? Let's think about that for a second. That's 18 minus x, all right? So once you get that, you can set up the proportion. <clears throat> I did 6 over 14, and then x over 18 minus x. Cross multiply, solve it out. All we got 
Oh, I got a fraction, 27 over 5. All right, make sure you reduce your fractions. If you didn't get 27 over 5, reduce it, and maybe you'll get the right answer. All right, last one for the day. There's two triangles, and the symbol in the middle of them says they're similar. So we can set up the proportion the same way. We can do the x and then match it up with the 5, and then the x minus 7, match it up with the 14. There it is. Cross multiply and solve it out. You should get x equals negative 35 over 9. Now this one wasn't too hard to do, but the one on the homework was a little bit, is a little bit trickier, only because they drew this triangle inside this triangle. So it was, it was kind of like something there. And so it got confusing. So when it gets confusing like that, make sure you take the two triangles and draw them out separately. Okay, because when you draw them out separately, then it looks a lot easier like this example. So when you see it on the homework, draw it out separately and make, your, make yourself look a little bit easier for yourself. All right, that is all we have for today. Go ahead and try the homework.